We've got Warren from Primestream. Warren, thank you for coming on. Welcome. It's a pleasure. Uh, now, we haven't actually spoke before, uh, so this is going to be new to me as well, which is great, because I always like to learn about new stuff. It's fantastic. Uh, for those who don't know, tell us a little bit about Primestream. Sure, sure. Primestream is a company uh, based in Miami, Florida. Yep. It's been around for about uh, 14 years and uh, we manufacture the Fork software, right. which was originally developed here in the Netherlands by a company some people uh, here in Europe might be familiar with, Building for Media, right. uh, B4M. Uh, we acquired that company about four years ago, but kept the uh, core team of developers in place and continued to manufacture the Fork software, which is an end-to-end -end workflow from acquisition of content right through production and archiving of the content. Gotcha, so what type of uh, broadcasters are using Fork? Well, that's the interesting thing about this point, this inflection point kind of in the industry. I think yeah. the B in NAB and IBC no longer stands for just broadcasting, yeah. but you know everybody who touches video. Yeah. So we, we have sports clients, we have news clients, we have uh, you know, CNN, NASCAR, uh, the NFL, National Football yeah. League in America, Viasat. Uh, here in, in Europe, uh, in, in Denmark, but we're also seeing uh, uh, law firms, uh, universities, you know, everybody who touches video is reaching a point of, of uh, quantity of content that they yep. need to be able to manage yep. that uh, the Fork software can help them with. So, when it comes to content management, obviously metadata is king in yes. this. Yes, it is. Uh, how, how do you guys manage that all the way and through? We never metadata we didn't like either, yeah. too. We, <laughs> we, we, uh, met, metadata, we, we from, from the very beginning, Fork has thought of itself as a uh, metadata-driven workflow. Yeah. And a lot of our automation is uh, initiated and triggered by the status of metadata fields. Yeah. So we like to say that the Fork database is virtually unlimited in terms of the amount of metadata that we can, that we can enter. Yep. And, a, and a specific tool that we've uh, introduced over the last year that was uh, designed and developed in conjunction with the Viasat people for, uh, for entry of metadata for sports is our Fork Logger, right. which is a configurable uh, interface that one day you could be uh, logging a soccer match, and the next day, in theory, you could be doing a political debate. It's very right. configurable in yeah. that way. And it's, um, it's really all about in real time, as well as uh, logging against yeah. pre-recorded clips, getting rich metadata into, uh, you know, into the mix. And you know, I've heard it said that there's no way for one person to get all that content in there, and that's why we're about shared environments where, you know, as long as someone, along, each person along the way is contributing a little bit of data, yeah. it really adds up to a very rich piece of content in the end. So the whole process is, is there is, is you, you make it look easy, but in the background there's a lot. It's very complicated. There's a lot going on. Indeed. Uh, how do you go about designing and managing one of these and talking about production workflow with a client? That, well, that's um, one of our kind of uh, um, mantras is play nicely with others. Yeah. We're being just a software company, we understand that we come into environments where there's going to be lots of pre-existing architecture yeah. in terms of hardware as well as software too. So yeah. we take it upon ourselves to be able to uh, drive as many different kinds of uh, uh, servers and playout devices and routers and be able to speak to them yeah. as well as uh, you know uh, interface with different kinds of software for for the bits of the process that we don't handle internally. So yep. we, we interface with third-party transcoders and, and, and things like that. It's, um, uh, it's, it's rare that we come into a, a large, a new situation where there isn't going to be some new bit of development yep. involved. But uh, um, one of the powers of a fork workflow is it's uh, uh, a facility resource management layer, we call it. And that's yeah. uh, kind of the engine behind it that allows us to incorporate most of the, you know, really a lot of the different hardware inside a given facility and be the kind of conductor of, yeah. the, of, the, of the orchestra in that regard. Understood. Now, um, I'm going to mention the cloud word to you. <laughs> Everybody mentions the cloud the word cloud, when it comes the cloud, to this. Yes, the cloud. It's, the cl it's coming. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's coming. It's, it's inevitable. It's definitely been here in Amsterdam yeah, these yeah, last yeah, few days. Yes, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's true. It has. Yeah. And it's raining all over us. Uh, how are you guys innovating in that we, sort of area? Uh, traditionally, Fork had been a uh, uh, client-server architecture, so you needed to be within the network. But as you yeah. say, that everybody's talking cloud. Everybody expects access to their content just you know through a browser from a from yeah. a given computer yeah. computer computer connected to the internet. And uh, we've introduced over the last year a product called Fork Exchange, which is an HTML5 based interface yep. that basically allows anyone um, who's got access into the system, who's got good internet connectivity, to be able to see their content. 
and um, it's especially relevant for uh, multi-site installations. We've imp uh, uh, implemented this for Yahoo in the U.S., right. where they have production facilities in Santa Monica, Sunnyvale, California, and New York, and they want to be able to see each other's content. It's not, not just a matter of being able to access it remotely, but more and more our clients are you know, finding themselves in different locations and they want to be able to see each other's yep. content and utilize that in production. So Fork Exchange facilitates that. Brilliant. Well, and that's great. Yeah. Uh, we're coming to the end of the time, but if people sure. want to come and see you here yeah, at we're IBC. we're in building seven, uh, yep. uh, D21, I believe. Excellent. You yeah, have yeah, passed yeah. the, where are you located <laughs> test. Well done. We'll now go to check you with the next one. If people want to find you on the web, what's your website? Uh, primestream.com, www.primestream.com. Yeah. Well, and thank you very much for no, coming much on. Pleasure it. to talk thank to you. you Mark. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Go and have a look at their website, uh, primestream.com, if you can't make it here at IBC. If you can, they are, again, in uh, Hall 7, Stand D21. Go and have a chat to Warren and his team. I'm sure they'll be loving to talk to you.